Hey you guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So about a month ago, I posted a video of a Smartly haul. So Smartly is a line um, that is at Target. So if you wanna watch my initial haul video, I'll go ahead and leave it linked below. Um, but I told you guys that I was gonna check in in about a month and tell you guys what I thought of the product. So we've been using Smartly in our house for the past three weeks now. So I've been able to test out the products enough um, to give you guys my honest opinion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into it. So this video is just strictly my perspective. So my um, experience with the product may be different from yours. So I don't want anyone to get offended. I don't want anyone to think um, anything negatively. This is just my opinion of the product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into it. So everything I picked out, I picked out some paper towels. We picked out some trash bags. We also picked out the multi-purpose spray. We also picked up the dish soap as well as the hand soap. Um, we also picked out the liquid body wash. We also picked out the bar soap and that's it. So, um, and then we also have the liquid dish detergent. So first off, um, the paper towels are very, very thin. Yes, they are priced for, I think it's like a dollar and nine cents for a pack of two or 59 cents a roll. They are so thin. So I would suggest that you skip on the Smartly brand paper towels and go for a more heavy duty paper towel because you're gonna end up using more of the smaller paper towels compared to having a thicker towel such as Bounty or even Quilted Northern, there's definitely a difference um, even in the microwave. So we'll put a paper towel over like our soups or anything that's not gonna splatter. Um, and if I use more of a heavy duty paper towel, um, nothing will like splatter, but using the Smartly, the liquid just like ripped right through. So um, the paper towels are not something that I would recommend. So the next thing that we've been using that I have a pretty good review on would be the bar soap. So initially um, I got very like cheap motel soap vibes from the soap <laughs> um, because that's exactly what it reminded me of. So you know those bar soaps that I'm talking about where you lather up in the shower and then you rinse it off and then instantly your skin just has that like dry feeling on your skin like all of the moisture sucked out. Um, that's exactly what you're gonna experience with this bar soap. And the only other bar soaps I've had that experience with are like cheap motel soaps. Um, so it's definitely not a soap that's gonna give moisture onto your skin. It's gonna suck all the moisture out of your skin 100%. Um, my husband didn't like it. Um, he actually commented saying, babe, where is the other bar soap? Um, you switched out the bar soap I was using and I'm using this new one that you put in here and I don't like it. So my husband doesn't like it. However, after the course of about three weeks using it, I have learned to appreciate it because there are no fragrances in it and it did not irritate my skin. And that is something that is really big when it comes to a cleanser for me. Um, so it did the job of, you know, cleansing my skin. And then afterwards, I would just go ahead and moisturize my skin after the shower. So I have been appreciating that. Also, you want like a mild soap, like when you're um, washing like other delicate areas of your body. Like you're not wanting to use heavily fragrant soaps because if you're a woman watching this, it's gonna mess up like your pH balance. And that's how some women get different infections like yeast infections and other stuff like that. So in terms of a um, cleanser that is very mild for like, like I said, delicate parts, this is a really good one. Um, so all in all, I have been enjoying the bar soap and it's super cheap too. It's like a dollar for two bars of soap. So it makes it like 50 cents a bar of soap. So I would keep using it. My husband is a little bit more of a harder critic of it and he didn't like it as much. So next thing I'm going to throw in since we're talking about bath content, um, is the shower foam. That's what it's called. <laughs> um, so the shaving cream, I really have been enjoying the shower cream and it has not irritated my legs. That was my biggest thing when it came to the um, shaving cream is if it was gonna give me a rash and irritate my legs. It did not. Something you also need to be mindful of is the can can rust. So if you can keep the can up to where it's not getting moisture, that would be a good idea because um, I noticed after three weeks, like the lining of my can is starting to rust a little bit and you need to shake the can each time to have the foam foam up. Otherwise it's gonna get kind of liquidy. So you just gotta work with the um, container um, as best as you can. 
So the next thing I'm gonna go into is the hand soap. So the hand soap um, did its job, it's hand soap. So I'm really not picky when it comes to hand soap. Also the dish detergent, uh, like the liquid dish detergent, um, it did its job. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, it does the same thing that the Mrs. Myers does. However, it's not a natural product. So that's why I'm gonna continue to go with um, Mrs. Myers because I wanna use something that is more of a natural product. Um, so the next thing is the liquid um, dishwasher detergent. It's done a great job at washing our dishes. If it didn't, my husband would tell me because he is the one that unloads the dishwasher every single morning. So if there was an issue, he would have told me by now and there hasn't been an issue. So the dishwashing liquid, it's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to. So something that I would recommend to you guys, if it's something that you use in your house as a constant thing, like hand soap or dish soap or liquid detergent, just go for what's cheaper because I don't see another reason to pay more money for something that's gonna do the same thing as something more expensive. The trash bags were fine, they didn't rip. I use the seventh generation trash bags all the time and something that I find with those trash bags is they do not hold weight the best so they will rip pretty easily. Uh, but the Smartly ones didn't. So I'll probably switch to Smartly trash bags because it is less expensive. So now let's go into the body wash. So the kids have been using the Smartly body wash and it's been fine. It's, it was like $1.99 for 32 ounce. The only thing I would say is I'm not a fan of the scent. So we have the Bloom scent, which is like a florally scent. At first I enjoyed it, but after a while, it kind of gave me like car wash air freshener vibes. Like, you know, when you go in and get your car wash and then when it's done, there's like that distinct scent that they put in there. Like if you get like a car wash, like scent booster or whatever it is, I didn't like it. I don't like the scent. So I probably won't buy it going forward because I just don't like the scent. So <laughs> maybe I need to try a different scent or just, you know, start using a different body wash on them. But they had no problem using it, they enjoyed it, so it's not bad. <laughs> so the next thing was the multi-purpose cleaner. So I did use it on my countertops um, for the first few days and it did not leave my countertops sticky, so that was something that I wanted to make sure it didn't do. Um, but going forward, I'm gonna continue using something more natural. However, I think that this um, all-purpose cleaner would be good for like cleaning um, like around like your windows or your baseboards, something that is in like a big area that you need to clean that has a lot. So like our baseboards um, outline our entire living spaces. So I think that that is a good item to go ahead and just do like a deep clean with. Um, if you're getting ready to like clean cabinets or you clean your cabinets, you deep clean your cabinets, I think that that would be a nice cleanser. Um, I think that would be a nice um, all purpose cleaner to go ahead and use. I'm not, I'm not mad at it, but I don't love it. So I will continue to go back to Mrs. Myers because I prefer a more natural cleaner on my countertops and um, most of our living space, but I'm fine like the lower baseboards of just using something less expensive. Um, so I will continue to use it until it's gone. Would I buy it again? I don't know. Um, but I will continue to use it um, in the places that I mentioned. So this is everything that I have to share with you guys in my review of the Smartly line over at my Target. So like I said, if you were on a budget um, and you just need something basic without the frills, I think the Smartly line would be a good option for you. Just pick and choose. If you're a college student on a lower budget, this would be a great line to go ahead and check out. So definitely go and check out this line at your Target if you are at all interested. So again, I'll have my initial haul for you guys below. You guys wanted me to come back and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on the line. So here it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it so I know you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you all later. Bye.